Hello guys, what is up? It is iPod Touch Bomb. Today we come back to you guys with another review, and this is going to be a review of the Andrea Electronics Super Beam headset, aka the SB805B headset. Um, it retails for $179 on their website, but it does have some pretty cool features. It's actually a really comfortable headset that has built-in microphones that allows for 3D surround sound recording of, you know, voiceover internet proxy calls, or maybe just voiceovers, and it also works for gaming on the PC. So anyways, if you want to check this out, it's on their website at andreaelectronics.com. There'll be a link down below in the description to where you can check them out and all their other products. But anyways, let's just go ahead and jump right into this video, and I'll tell you if this headset is worth your money. Alright, so the first thing you're going to get in the packaging is a USB dongle that actually connects to your computer and is sort of an adapter because you're able to plug your headset in with the headset and the microphone so you'll be able to record audio and listen to it through your computer. Alright, next up you're going to get a extension cable for your headset. It has both the microphone and the headset attachment so you'll be able to plug both those in and listen to audio as well as record it. Maybe you're sitting back from your computer, this is a nice thing to use because you'll be able to sit back without having to worry about the wire length. Next, you're going to get a short quick start guide. It has a little bit of information about the headset, their software, and a lot of different stuff. So if you want to take a look at it, that'd be fine, but it's not necessary to really look at it in depth. All right, finally, the last thing you're gonna get in the packaging is a Andrea Electronics branded carrying pouch. This is a really nice soft carrying pouch. It's made of like foam. Um, so it will keep your uh, headphones protected while they're out in the elements when you take them on the go. Um, it won't get scratched up or anything like that. So it is a very nice carrying pouch. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the cable on these headphones. As you can see right here, you're going to have a microphone and also a headphone cable. This will plug directly in your computer. If you don't have these, you can use the USB dongle. Um, it is an adapter, so it will work for that. Moving up the line, you can see that we have our inline control right there. This controls volume as well as mutes the headphones. So if you want to mute them real quick, you can just flip the switch. And if you want to control the headphone volume, you can do that. It won't change your computer volume. It independently controls the headphone volume. Now let's take a closer look at the headphones themselves. They look really nice. They have a nice DJ style to them. They fold up like DJ style headphones. So you will be able to pack them into the carrying pouch and take them with you on the go. Um, they do look a little bit similar to Beats by Dre in the folding up motion and the sides and top of the headset. So pretty much the headband looks a little bit similar. But that's about it. The head cups are a lot bigger so you'll be able to fit them around your ears. And like I said, they have built-in microphones so that is pretty cool. They're also very comfortable though because the ear cups or whatever are made of leather. It's very soft and it won't bother you if it's on your head for a while. The only complaint I really have is that there's no padding on the top of these headphones so when they're sitting on the top of your head they can they can get a little bit uncomfortable at times but it's not that often and it's not for very long. So if they just add a little bit of padding to the top, these would definitely be perfect. Um, the audio quality is really fantastic on these, uh, whatever genre of music you listen to, or maybe you're playing a computer game. The audio will be great on these headphones, and you won't have any complaints about that. They are also very high quality, very well made. They seem very sturdy. From what I've used, they are pretty nice overall. Um, but I'll be showing off the software now, so if you want to take a look at that, you can. Um, they have their Audio Commander software. It's independent, and it's great for recording with these headphones specifically. But um, from a build quality and stuff, I can definitely tell you these headphones are worth it. Alright, so now we're going to be taking a look at the software that comes with the uh, headset that I have on my head right here. The Andrea Electronic SB805 headset. It's on my head right now. I'll be showing you the software, which is their Audio Commander software that you can use to record audio from this headset. Directly to your computer for voiceovers or if you're playing games or something like that. Whatever you want to do. You can record audio using this headset. Alright, so the software is actually pretty nice. Let me just show you what you have. Um, you have a lot of menus right here that you'll be able to look through. This just hides basically stuff on the screen that you might not want to see. Maybe you aren't going to be using the uh, equalizer right here. You can just hide it with one simple click. Um, and then you have a bunch of different options for the audio recording. Take everything away if you want. But yeah. And then also you have preferences right here. Uh, it says show audio commander on the taskbar show tooltips, show playback audio meter, and show black audio meter, and then you have the email format which is WMA or the WAV file. Uh, and then down here, this is going to be our playback volume where we can control the playback of the audio that we just recorded to monitor it or listen to it after the fact that we've recorded it. Uh, you have options for your volume to mute it and also which speaker you want to use. You can just change that by clicking on it and it will uh, pop this up and let you decide which one you want to do. Um, Equalizer, we can change the settings on here. You can see if you right click, it'll do that. Uh, then for recordings, we have the recording volume, which you can control. It's basically the gain or whatever uh, that you can control for the recording. It will control the headset recording audio. Um, so you can do that right here. You have the option to mute. And once again, 
you have your uh, little things that show you how high the volume is currently at the time. And then over here, this is where we're going to get a few different options. We have our system presets, stereo recordings, voice over IP, and VO IP in extreme conditions. You also have the option to select what you want right here. So it'll be like noise canceling, light beam forming, which is basically just like it'll keep the noise. It'll remove all the sounds outside of this little like sphere around you. Uh, and then aggressive beam forming does the exact same thing, just in a more aggressive manner. All right, so it's pretty simple to record everything that you want to record. Um, basically, all you have to do, you just click down here, hit record. Let me go ahead and record a clip. Hello guys, what is up? It is Cameron here from Unexclusive Gaming. That is my other gaming channel. If you want to check it out, link in the description below. <laughs> just kidding, but uh, yeah, that's just a sample recording. So hopefully this sounds good. And then we can play it back by... Hello guys, what is up? It is Cameron here from Unexclusive Gaming. That is my other gaming channel. If you want to check it out, link in the description below. <laughs> but yeah, so that's how you actually monitor or listen to your audio after you've recorded it. Then over here, you have a few things. You have new audio recording. Click that. It'll say... Uh, not been saved. Do you want to save this recording? I'm going to click no. And then you can go ahead and change it to mono or stereo, the channel. And then you can change the frequency to 4,008 or 48,000. Then you can go down from there. So I'm just going to leave it at 48,000. Um, over here you have open audio recording. So that can open them and you can um, listen to them and edit them. Then you have your email. And you also finally have your save recording. So that's basically what you get with the Audio Commander. It's actually a really good software. I like it a lot to record with the headset, and I think overall it's just a pretty good software in general. All right, so overall I would definitely recommend these headphones to anyone who's looking for a way to record audio through the headset, and maybe you're looking for a PC headset that you can use to also record audio, because these are definitely good with their built-in microphones, 3D surround sound recording, and also the Audio Commander software, which is also very nice. Um, but like I said, these headphones are very high quality, audio quality is great, um, build quality is great, and I really like the design of them, they look pretty snazzy. So if you want to check them out, they're at andreaelectronics.com for $179. I think it's well worth it, and I definitely have enjoyed these headphones. So if you like the video, make sure to click the like button. Also, if you want to leave a comment down below about the video or any questions about the product, feel free to do so. And if you want to subscribe, click the subscribe button up above, and you can be updated whenever I upload new videos. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. See ya.